South London has become a melting pot for culture that is impacting music, fashion and football. We want to find out why and learn more about what's going on in South London. South is like a real hub for forward thinking. For me, it's just the people. The place is built off of love and respect. One non-league club making headlines with a huge influence and presence across the football landscape is Dulwich Hamlet. The Hamlet for some time now has been sticking out by taking a stand. It's seen as one of the most progressive clubs within the football pyramid, with its own brewery on site, as well as the wavy kits making a splash every season. It's a pretty cracking kit, to be honest. Like, it's, uh, it's iconic. The colours, they clash, you would think, but they really work well together. It's, uh, it's just something that catches the eye really easily. I love that everything is super inclusive, like all of the Pride merchandise everywhere. I'm used to supporting a team with quite the uh, progressive energy, and it's really nice to see uh, when you're here. So, yeah, there's not really anything else like it. Music and football is synonymous, and we're here at one of the most iconic grounds in South London. Dulwich Hamlet Football Club. We're here to meet one person who mixes music and football in one, DJ Monkey. Let's see what she's saying. When I come here, I'm, I feel at home. Talk to me about Dulwich Hamlet. What does it mean in the community around here? On match days, it's pretty lively. Now we have a little crew called the Pepper Army. I was going to say that. I was going to say, I've heard one word, Pepper Army. The name is dedicated to our, one of our coaches who passed away a few years ago. Oh, okay. He's got a mural over there through many of His saying was like, always play spicy and like that's kind of where it came from. I started playing football just in the playground really yeah. with my mates like how a lot of girls my age started. I joined like the school team yeah. and then went through like a couple of academies when I was younger Nice. and then I stopped playing for like eight nine years. Yeah. I wanted to play professionally but back then it wasn't. You know, it, wasn't it wasn't a thing wasn't really. It wasn't a thing at all so I just stopped playing and that's how I got into music. Although I've got a community in music, I very much miss the, the like football. dressing room. Yeah. yeah. I really miss the dressing room yeah. and I miss the girls. I went back to it. It wasn't easy because my schedule's like a bit mad. Like yeah. Ibiza to football pitch is not <laughs> <laughs> ideal, but. It seems all right. <laughs> I've heard there's some iconic chants. Have you got one? I do have a chant. You have a chant? I do have a chant, Oh, yeah, come yeah. on, no, we have to hear it. We have to hear You're it. You're going to make me sing it? Yeah. DJ Monkey, DJ Monkey, she mixes bangers with Calvin Harris. They sound massive. I can't swear. <laughs> <laughs> So we're here in the clubhouse. What would it take to get DJ Monkey to do a set here? Oh yeah, no, I have been talking about it to have be you? fair. I, w I would love to do one like outside. Yeah. Like on the pitch at the end of the season or something. Like, how do you think that all ties in just fashion, music, and then obviously ties into football as well? You find places where you feel comfortable being yourself and football and music have both played that part in my life, like quite separately. Jack Grealish on the stage at Glastonbury, yeah. for example. <laughs> That's mad to me yeah, as well. Yeah, like, yeah. Thinking about it before, that wouldn't be a thing. It's yeah. a melting pot of culture in South London, right? So you're gonna get you're gonna get loads of influence from from all all over the world. And so when I discovered this like alternative scene, I guess, uh, where everyone was just wearing like Air Max and like baggy trousers and just yeah. like having a good time, I was like, oh wow, this is amazing. And I ended up working for a pirate radio station in East London called Rinse FM. I've obviously dubstep come from Croydon. To know like a genre can like literally come from like a small That's area. <laughs> I've heard that Defected Records was the shirt sponsor for the women's team first, right? Yeah, yeah, On yeah. On the back, and that was that down to yourself? Yeah, so we merged in 2019. I remember because I was at the France World Cup. My friend Wes, who owns Defected Records, um, we share the love of football. And it's mad because I see people like in raves all the time. So what, just wearing? Just wearing the shirt. It's absolutely <laughs> bonkers. Like It's an iconic shirt. Yeah, it is. Genuinely. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere from like Bali to Ibiza to Australia. Wait, so you saw, you've seen people in Bali or straight just wearing just wearing the shirt yeah at the like, Hamlet shirt yeah 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 like at defected shows and at my shows and it's like it is, it is so yeah, sick that's mad. it is so sick I've had a couple of people like doing Dulwich chants at me like mid set <laughs> <laughs> like, it's wicked and I'm like so happy I got to bring like both of my worlds together when I come here and play in front of the crowd and see the girls in the dressing room like feel grounded yeah you know I feel like these are my people but when I come here I'm, I feel at home and yeah. I feel part of something. It's a special place. And yeah, that's what I think is special about South London. In recent years, South London's been at the forefront of progressive music. One rapper spearheading the alternative rap scene is Sam Wise. So let's see what's going on in South. 
My bro. Brother. Sam. It's getting you good. How's it going, man? Oh, I'm in your end. Steady. You're there, man. You're here. I'm Welcome. in your area. Welcome. But it's South London. Mm -hmm. I was saying this earlier. Mm -hmm. Is it really South? <laughs> Is it South? It's too close bro, to Central. Bro. See what? 30 seconds down there. Black Prince. Yeah. Kennerton. It's the history. Then you just walk a bit further. It's Waterloo and it gets to yeah. Westminster. It's a bit different. But that's what I love about South, bro. It's like, man, just so close to. It's like, it's different. There's so much different vibrations here. Yeah. What has shaped this end? Like, what experiences have you had here, man? This is South London. You know what shaped it for me? I think it's the evolution, bro. Yeah. When I'm here, um, I think about primary school. I think about childhood friends. And I've seen it kind of change and grow. Yeah. For example, that ground um, that looks lovely now, perfect 3G. Yeah. 10, 15 <laughs> years ago, bro. <laughs> gonna get some, around, yeah, yeah, you see, get some rag old players here as well that's going to kick your ankle in that a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So, Archbishop's Park, man. Like, I know nowadays, like, there's more alternative music out there. Mm -hmm. When I was coming up and when you were coming up, it was more grime, kind of trap rap. You had your gigs, yeah. you had your sneak bows. Yes. They had their own wave as well. Yes. And now you're championing it for alternative rap. Like, mm. how's that changed from when you've been growing up? I'm not, like, really who you'd call the typical South Londoner. Yeah. The idea we had of a South Londoner maybe 10 years ago, and even maybe now. So a big part of my music is actually kind of expressing what it looks like to be a South Londoner that wasn't this sort of typical yeah, idea of us. Idea of South and London. that is okay and it's actually lit. Anyway, back in the day, we'll go back to House of Pharaohs Amen. as well. Mm -hmm. Like, I think you were ahead of your time. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it was beautiful for the time it was, uh -huh. but you were ahead of your time as well. Like a group doing alternative rap, especially from the ends as well. Like, talk to me about that. I've got a high top. <laughs> and, I, I, and I'm roller skating, yeah. but it's like, I'm in South London where it's like, bro, it's a yeah, different crazy. energy right now. Do you get this yeah. crazy? So it's like, that convinced people, do you know what I mean? And, and then I got to meet with, like, link up with people that was on the same wave as myself. Yeah. So like, let's go and show who, what we think is dope, what music we think is dope, how we think to dress is dope, yeah. what places we think is cool. Like me, you're a United fan. Come on. Being from South London, being a United fan, I bet you got corned that you... Did you get hammered as well? Yeah, you get it. But you know what it was? I feel like in South London, like our dads were Ars Arsenal Man United fans, yeah. or our older brothers. So that idea of kind of being raised in the club locally, yeah. some people experienced that, I didn't. But to be fair now, because I'm a South Londoner, I'm always like, I go to Palace games and, and I kind yeah. of got Palace in my heart. I used to go to a few actually when I was younger as well. So it was always like, oh, Crystal Palace. Because even the feeling around Selhurst Park as well, bruv, like from South London, you you know it's a real South London I love club. It. I love it, I love it. Like, Palace is like my second team, there's no rules. Yeah, Palace yeah. is my second team. But then obviously, Shivas Regal gave you the honour of playing at Old Trafford as well. That's one of my dreams, Shivas. Dreams come true. Shivas, where we at, man? You got a chat I'm trying to, yeah, got a chat I'll, to I'll, 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 I'll make a few calls. You make a few calls, calls but talk calls. to me about that experience, man. Old Trafford, playing at Old Trafford. I scored. Yeah. Like, let's make that clear. I bagged that Old <laughs> Trafford top wins. The, the touch had to be perfect so that I can... I'd have to bring it out with the right even more. I just, boom. All right, guy, all right, you better play the video. Drop the video. Drop, Drop the, the video. video in right now. Great tackle. Key, key, key's there. Oh, Molly. Oh, Molly. Oh, Molly. Is this... oh, oh that's someone there. Archbishop mm. Park is not, it's not south to me. It's the lighter part of south. It's the light part of it's south. It's the light part of Kennerton, you know. So I'll take you to Brixton Hill next. We'll get yeah. a little food, you know what I mean? Break fast. I can show you a bit more south so you understand yeah. the real south. What's going on? I'll show you what's going on. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, bro, come on. Did man being on the low, but show appreciation, lovely less. No top boy, but a top girl lifestyle, attitude match with Sully. Yes. I know all the crazy youths on ends, I had to cut them off so suddenly. Come on. So this is your local, yeah? Semi-local, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, man. I'm, see me, I'm a, I'm a traveling man, man. So several areas in, in South you might think is super local. We're in Brixton Hill right now. I'm originally from Kennerton, obviously, but it's local for me, bro. Yeah, and then you come here, what? After you play your football, after you settle, yes. what? You come here, clear your system? This is like the break. Obviously, we've got the Sour Sups movie right now. This is where yeah. I kind of come on break fast. When I'm in my flow, my rhythm, and I'm you know, waking up in the morning, I might train, I might do some admin, whatever. When I choose to break fast and I come here, just it just feels good, you know what I mean? And sick community feel here as well. So on the way here, you mm. showed me different places in Kennington where you grew up. Obviously, this is alkaline as well. Yeah. So you come here day to day, clear your system, and then what? When your mind's right, you go studio? Studio, man. Yeah? Studio today, bro. You know what I mean? There's, there's this verse is just in my head, just circulating. It's just ideas I need to lay. Yeah. So we'll go studio, man. So, Sam, mm. look, we're in your studio in South London. Mm. 
in your raps, I've been listening to it, mm. South London's influenced you very well. And mm -hmm. I said, look, football's influenced you, fashion, culture, but South London as a whole has influenced you well. Like, mm. I hear it in a lot of your bars. So are you just drawing on your experiences? My first project um, with House of Pharaohs was called Southern Stamp. Yeah. So it kind of implies that this, being from South is that it's just a, it's a, it's a stamp on man that like, you know, it's going to be there forever. Yeah. So it's going to come through. And I'm telling stories from where I'm from. So partly it's actually just when you look um, geographically, like it's large. The football aspect of things is a big part of South because that would bring a lot of men together. Yeah. Whether I'm, I'm going like Ferndale in Brixton for tournaments at times. So there's the link between Kennet and Brixton and then you meet people there. It's even just uh, school tournaments and those sort of things. It was yeah. such a competitive thing. South is such a its own bubble. Yeah. But yeah, like yeah. I said, it, it wasn't only it's only when I was turning 15, 16, but I started looking elsewhere. And we're prideful about it. Like, man's so proud about where I'm from. You've got footballers who are making music now, who are who are making waves in the fashion scenes as well. Mm -hmm. Like, even if we talk about it, Storms in Wilfred Zaha. Like, they bought something in the community. Is that something like, like, what do you think about that? Because that's giving back to South in a different way. The reality is we come from a harsh environment. Yeah. And anyone that gets in that position wants to make that sort of change and have that influence. Just naturally, Stormzy, we've seen him do it with the books. Yeah. And everything like that. And Wilf, again, like, you just, Wilf is Wilf, he's a real South Ute and he's just about, about what he's about. It's kind of mad, but you know I love my city still. Stormzy and Wilfred Zaha made headlines with their takeover of AFC Croydon Athletic and their mission is to bring the community and the culture together. First and foremost is like the, the, the community here, which people may not have tapped into. And it's, it's a case of the, like a lot of the, the two boys, especially growing up here and knowing about the area so much, know that it's got such a big community, but probably doesn't have enough areas for, for guys to come and enjoy the space. And for us, it's like trying to include everybody and trying to get the community massively involved. I think it's so important that everyone that was here previous to us is everyone stayed on and worked together because they've been such a big part of this football club for the last, I don't know, since they took over 10 years, but probably even before that. And I think it's just about trying to get everybody together. Zaha's former home Crystal Palace is a hotbed for fashion and creativity within South London. They're the first Premier League club to employ a creative director with Kenny and Ann Jonathan. Former and current players like Eberetche Eze and Ian Wright have been papped at London Fashion Week, highlighting their personalities in the game, expressing themselves off as well as on the pitch. It's no surprise Palace are changing the game. They've been turning up in the FA Cup finals and putting South London on the map for years now. Right! Oh! It's Ian Wright again! Although they fell short in the replay, Wrighty's goal wrote Crystal Palace into FA Cup folklore, and their place in recent finals has solidified this. No! He's made one of the great substitutions. South London has a lot to unpack. This is a diverse landscape that produces game changers and disruptors, artists and ballers that come together and support and bring up those around them. The area thrives through community and flourishes with creativity. And that's what's going on in South London.